now here I am with Mark and Carlos. We have Charles in the car. Now, Carlos, how impatient are you to get out there? It's your turn later. I am, I am. It's my turn later, but for the moment I'm going to let Charles uh, do the, the first couple of laps. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a special day, it's a special moment now. It's always when you are the most nervous, I guess, but in a good way. You're excited. So yeah, I cannot wait to to get a taste of it later. Well, guys, you can follow along on Carlos if you're on the Scuderia Ferrari app later on. And Mark, I mean, you know, you guys know this track so well. What kind of emotions will be going through the driver's heads? Yeah, what do you think, uh, Carlos? What, what, at that moment, which are the things that you want to feel more when you do the first laps on a car? Well, first of all, I think everyone's seen the car now. The car is amazing. It looks super, super cool. I think it's even a step more beautiful than last year. And I already believe last year we had one of the most beautiful cars. No? So that, first of all, and second, now you're just making sure you do an installation lap, the brakes are working fine, uh, you start to feel the engine, the traction, you, you feel a bit the tires, you put the car a bit on a bit more lateral load, the longitudinal, you start feeling the first things from the car. But I'm sure that uh, Charles and I, as soon as we jump in the car, we push it a bit and see, <laughs> see how it feels. So today, that's going to happen already. And the thing is, I mean, you know Charles so well. What do you think is going through his head right now? He's going like, as soon as the car and everything is more or less warm, he's going to push. <laughs> <Because> that's <laughs> our nature. Off he goes. And, uh, and off he's going to go. He's going to try and extract a little bit out of it and try and have the first feeling. So later we meet with the engineers and we give them uh, our first impressions which are going to be very subtle but first impression mm. and how are you going to get yourself in the zone later on so the advantage of not going first is that i get three laps so we said okay the advantage of using the car first uh, we do our coin toss no like you saw but at least the guy who goes second gets <laughs> to do an extra lap so in that extra lap i hope that i can get to feel a little bit more than Charles. And you're going to see the Tifosi out there as well. Don't forget to smile and wave. Yeah, yeah, we, I don't know. I'm going to be in that mix of wanting to feel the car pushing it and at the same time waving at the fans. I'm going to have a lot of work to do, to do but uh, it's going to be good fun. And now talk to us a bit more also about Maranello. It's actually my first time here. It's such a special place to be in Ferrari land. What does it mean to you? Yeah, it's amazing, especially walking through the Michael Schumacher Piazza, no? the, the going into um, and so Ferrari's house, you know, the, having the opportunity to do laps at Fiorano, look at, even if it's not a grandstand, it's now the non-official Fiorano grandstand <laughs> that is there on the, on the middle of the road. It's full of hundreds of fans. It's amazing. It, it, this only happens in Ferrari and it's something that is really, really special. And to get to use the car today is going to be uh, a great day. We see, Carlos, I mean, there's quite a lot of people already. Yeah. Would they be some of you? It's a mix of your mechanics, uh, Charles' mechanics. Uh, which type of people are now preparing the car? Uh, it's a normal crew, the crew that will be in Bahrain. Um, uh, today, as you said, we have a mix of, of people trying to get everyone to know the car, uh, the systems, the, uh, all the little details of the car. No, today is already a day where we start learning things from the car, so it's important to have the full team uh, fully focused, fully ready. Obviously, Yes, it's 15 kilometers, but it's, it's important 15 kilometers to get our, our first taste and everyone, uh, drivers, engineers, mechanics, ready. Imi, I hear, and I have even another surprise, but we can't even go into the team radio. So the car is being about to start any moment.
Percival, how is the car? You like it? Hello, mate. Can I do one for that? <laughs> no, no, no. Box, 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 box. It's my turn. It's my turn. Yeah. Uh, it feels good. I think, I think we are starting well because I'm pretty sure we are the fastest on track, so that's a good sign already. But everything feels good, mate. Your P1 for the moment. P1, baby. <laughs> Wow, 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 you know, this is something I tell you, you never see it from any team, so I'm very happy that Ferrari dared to do this, uh, put the car on track, the first kilometers of the SF23, and I think Charles was pushing quite a lot. <laughs> that was sensational. We were all getting quite jumpy about it, but you're very used to this, Mark, very stoic, just watching it pass by. Well done. <laughs> yeah, the sound of the car passing flat out here on the main straight, I could hear even the grandstand in turn one uh, cheering. I even see some signs and then of course on the main grandstand and uh, of course we cannot wait to see what uh, Charles has to say but I'm very happy that the team put everything together. They put a lot of work and they were so um, brave, you know, that to do that live in front of the whole Tifosi around the world. But even now, isn't it sensational? We can smell the noises from the garage. I mean, oh, it just feels like it's all heating up here on, on Valentine's Day, doesn't it? It is, it is. I mean, it's a, it's a very special day, the day that Ferrari chose to do this. It's a, it's a great day. Uh, of course, now Charles, what he did was, it's like an installation lap, so you go out, uh, you try all the gears, you make sure that the engine is doing, going well. Now they are looking at the telemetry, of course, real time, just, just everything. But everything, at least from the outside, it, it seemed to be very good. Of course, we're going to see now uh, when, uh, when Charles gets out. Uh, Mark, you know, I'd love to know, Carlos is going in next. What kind of changes are they going to need to make to the car to fit it for Carlos? Normally, they have to change the seat. So every driver has its own seat. They may have to change also the pedals. Uh, so it takes, it takes a few minutes to, to change the seat position, let's say. Um, they may even do some adjustments based on, on Charles' two laps. They may decide because it's okay. It's, it's like a filming day, you know. Uh, but uh, you still, if I know, you first the first thing you check is if the car is bottoming. I could see some sparks, you know, which was very spectacular. Those cars anyway bottom a lot, you know. We remember those are the wing cars. But uh, maybe I think Carlos, I'm sure, is listening right now to to Charles' comments, and uh, and then for his run, it's going to be only three laps for for Carlos later on. But I'm sure he may do some, some small adjustments based on what Charles has to say. And the car is just so beautiful. It's sensational to see it for us this close, isn't it? And what are your, the main parts of the, the new car that you're so intrigued and excited by? Tell us. Well, first thing, you just look at the livery, you know, and, and I think the car is just so beautiful. This Ferrari red, you know, this matte red. I, I loved it the first time I saw it. Then, of course, if you can notice on the front of the car, there's some, it's, it's a different front wing. Um, the, the side pods, which is something that Ferrari were very innovative last year, uh, because this car is an evolution. The rules have not changed that much. It's just the right height of the cars have to be higher. But um, yeah, you know, I can really see that the front, the suspension, front suspension is also different. And the aerodynamics, they are kind of refined. You know, they've, they've done an evolution on that respect. Oh, we've got some movement yeah, now, Charles we? is we're just... waiting for them to come and join us so eagerly. Yeah, I cannot wait to hear his, uh, his first words of what he had to say. He's disconnecting the radio, of course, the radio is very important to, to have any communication with his engineer. And uh, here we have uh, Charles Leclerc with us. <laughs> wow, Charles. <laughs> Hi. So, of course, you know, the words is, how did it feel, those first laps with the SF23? It feels good. I mean, uh, the first kilometers with uh, this new project, after doing so many kilometers on the simulator, um, it feels special. So everything went smoothly. Obviously, with two laps, it's difficult to go into details. Uh, but I already gave my my feedback once I was in the car there to the to the engineers to get the first uh, the first feeling. The car was running well, smooth. Um, so yeah, everything went really well. And we could see even you waving and slowing down for the Tifosi. First time we have such a big 
a big uh, crowd and, uh, and a big uh, uh, tribuna, you know, for the Tifosi. Yeah, we have, uh, it's amazing to have a, a grandstand uh, in Ferrano with all the Tifosi here. There are also loads of Tifosi uh, there at the, at the bridge. Um, but uh, yeah, it is very, very special to feel the support also on a day like this. I, I don't think it happens to any other teams and that's why Ferrari is so special. It's also thanks to all the Tifosi around the world that are helping us and pushing us in the, in the good moments, but especially in the bad moments too. And um, I really hope that this season will be a, an amazing one. Um, but uh, yeah, it felt, it felt good. Yeah, it looked good too, didn't it? Now, Charles, what feedback have you got for Carlos? It's his turn later. Well, the car feels good, mate. The car feels really good. <laughs> Drive it. It turns right when you turn right. It brakes when you brake. Uh, loads of power. So everything feels, uh, feels good. Um, you'll enjoy it. You'll see. Well, so I guess now it's really over after so many exciting moments today. It has been an amazing, amazing car launch. I've never experienced anything like that before. And, uh, well, Mark, given we've had all the Tifosi here and guys they are watching from all over the world, we've got a message for them. Thank you so much for, for the support. I've already said it, but uh, you've been there since the beginning when I started in uh, 2019. You are uh, a big part of why Ferrari is so, is so special. And uh, thanks for, for your support in the bad moment as well as in the good moments. Um, you are the best. And uh, yes, days like this are so much better with you. And we can't wait to see you uh, in Italy, but also all around the world with uh, hopefully what will be a, an amazing season for the team. Thank you. Carlos, also some, some words for you, for the Tifosi. Yeah. Uh, thank you everyone for joining us today. I think it's been an incredible day, uh, an enormous pleasure, you know, to be part of Ferrari presenting this car today after all the effort and job done by the engineers, by everyone involved in, in this car. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did, and I, I will see you soon during the season. Keep supporting us. All of that support makes us stronger, and we will give everything this year. Thank you. Absolutely brilliant. And now, guys, this is really just the start. That's just a preview of the upcoming season. You can follow along all season long on the Scuderia Ferrari app. That's where I'll be later today with some exclusive videos. And for now, it's goodbye to the guys and goodbye to you all at home.